my purpose for this tutorial is to show you how to access iTunes U content from either an iPhone or an iPod. All right, so here's the home screen of my iPhone. I've taken the iTunes U application off. In order to access iTunes U content, you're going to need the iTunes U app. Now, iTunes U is the free educational arm of the iTunes Store. You can't access iTunes U content, or at least you can't download it from iTunes itself, from that is from the music app here. Uh, instead, you're going to have to go to the App Store. So if you click on the App Store, you'll go to a page that looks something like this. And you can get the application a couple of different ways. Uh, in this case, I'm going to click on Categories here, and then Notice that the categories include education. If you click on education, uh, you get a bunch of kids stuff that's paid applications. If you click on free, uh, you'll be able to, f to find the iTunes U app you know, pretty quickly. So all you have to do is uh, click on the app, and a page like this will show or display. Uh, all you've got to do is click install. And what will happen is that screen will disappear. It'll go to whatever page you have the new applications going on. You'll get a, uh, a status of how fast uh, the download is occurring. Once it's done, uh, you can access the application from here. Uh, but since I'm going to be using this application a lot, I want to move it to my first page of application. So I'm going to move it here, and we're good to go. All right, so in order to access iTunes U content, you need the iTunes U app. So you click on the app. And what will display will be a bookshelf. And in order to get content into what iTunes U calls your library here, you need to go to the catalog to, subs to subscribe to courses. So if we click on catalog, this is the main page that displays. This is the new releases and the top, uh, top courses at iTunes U. It just so happens one of them is mine. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of accessing uh, and subscribing to uh, iTunes U courses from the University of New Orleans. So the first thing I'll, I'll, I'll do is go through the top tens because if these, if you're trying to subscribe to a philosophy class, the philosophy there aren't that many philosophy courses in iTunes U, and our courses are doing quite well. So if you select top tens, there are a variety of different categories. You scroll down to philosophy, and in this case, uh, my philosophy of mind class is number one. So I want to show you how to subscribe to a class, and it's pretty easy. All you do is you select the class, and this Subscribe Free button displays. All you have to do is click on the Subscribe Free button, and you'll be asked, do you really want to get the course? Get Course. So you click on Get Course, and what will happen is um, you'll see this visual representation of, of the class um, appearing on the bookshelf in what is called your library. So it's going to be from here that you'll access the content for the specific class once you've subscribed to it. But let me show you another way of accessing our, the UNO's iTunes U courses. So again, from the, the main page on the catalog, instead of clicking on Top Tens, click on Browse. When you do that, it'll load, and you'll, you'll get a big uh, pull-down list listing all of the universities and colleges and institutions that are hosting iTunes U content. It'll take you a few swipes, but you'll scroll down eventually and you'll get to the University of New Orleans. Once you do, you'll get a listing of our iTunes U courses, and again, the order will, will vary very likely. Um, if the course you see is right here, great. If not, then all you have to do is scroll down until you see See All. Click on See All and you'll get a list of all the iTunes U courses that UNO has. And you just keep scrolling down until you see the course that you want. In this case, I'm gonna to subscribe to my ethics class. So you click on the ethics, and like before, the subscribe free window, uh, window uh, button appears. You click on it, and again, you're prompted. Do you wanna get the course? Click get course, and it will load, as you can see the, the screen capture here and then finally uh, it will appear on your bookshelf in again what iTunes U calls your library. So in order to access any of the iTunes U content first you need to get the app then you need to subscribe to the courses once you've got the courses then you can start um, completing the content. So in this case I'm going to open the ethics class and what will appear 
Sorry about the phone. I'm just going to let it ring. What will appear is uh, this info from the info page. Sorry, I tried to pause that before my my voice machine uh, kicked on. Anyway, this is the uh, the overview of the info page. You notice down here at the bottom that the course material, the content itself, is broken up into info, posts, notes, and materials. So I'll talk about each of these. From the info, uh, the first thing you can click on is the overview, and the overview is just essentially the course description for, for the class. Uh, if we go back. If you click on instructor, uh, you'll find a little button to email your instructor from within the iTunes U app. If you click on outline, scroll down here, you get an outline uh, that corresponds to the content the way the instructor wants it to be completed on the syllabus. The main thing that you'll do, and what you'll be using again and again, uh, will be the posts here. So if you click on posts, um, this is where you go in order to access the content that's wedded to the outline, that is, to the order in which material needs to be completed on the syllabus. And instructors use these posts in order to give you instructions on what needs to be read before a particular lecture needs to be completed. Um, you'll have access to the lecture notes. Uh, at least the way the philosophy department does it, our lectures are narrated podcasts synced with slides of text. And Unfortunately, on the iTunes, via the iTunes U app, you can't see the slides change as the narration uh, completes. You can if you're accessing these lectures on your PC using uh, either iTunes or some combination of iTunes and QuickTime. But you can still follow along uh, with the lectures by uh, downloading the lecture, downloading the slides, starting the lecture, and then opening uh, the slides and then just sort of scrolling through it. In any event, um, the assignments, maybe uh, readings, links to uh, web pages, uh, videos, whatever. However, it is the instructors organize the material. It'll be available through these posts, and sometimes the description is longer than what fits in this little abbreviated version. So, if you click on the arrow here on, on the right, it'll expand the post. In this case, I've got a lot more text than displays in the abbreviated view, but you still have access to, you know, this the you know the documents here inclu which include the syllabus the game plan the required textbook and and so on and so on so i'm going to go back to the post and scroll down to more or less a a standard uh, post for me so i've got so uh, in this case you know the assignment which is you know complete lecture 2 you know, whatever um, usually i've got you know got to read then complete the lecture then uh, post your reply on, on to a one-minute argument discussion on Moodle. Bottom line is you'll access the content from the post. So I want to show you how to download it. So in order to access a lecture, what you'll do is you'll click on the box, in this case where the lecture is, and it will expand, and you've, you'll see that you've got a downward uh, arrow here and then an info button. The info button will simply tell you how big the lecture is when it was uploaded and that sort of business. In order to access the lecture, you need to download it. So you're gonna to have to click on this arrow. And when you do, the arrow will disappear. In fact, I'm gonna expand the lecture notes too and then uh, download them both. Again, you can't access the notes or the lecture until you, <laughs> until you download them onto your device. So in this case, I'll down, begin downloading the lecture and you get a representation of the progress of the download I'm going to start the other download. So this one's about done, as this one's I mean, it's almost done, as this one's nearly finishing. It doesn't take long to download these things. Uh, podcasts are much, much, much smaller than video files. In any event, this is what you see when, um, in this case, the lecture and the lecture notes have been downloaded. And again, the lecture notes uh, for me and for our, my faculty are essentially just a PDF of all the slides found in a lecture. Um, the lecture itself is an audio file. So when you click on the little sound icon here for the lecture to begin the lecture, uh, you ha have the image for the course and you've got the controls uh, that allow you to set where it is that you want the lecture to begin. It can begin at the beginning. You also have the option of playing the lecture at a faster rate than it was recorded or in, for that matter at a slower rate. Um, and since it turns out what, 55% of everyone who's accessing all of our content are doing so via their phones, 
and I've gotten a lot of feedback on this, that, you know, a lot of people are listening to these lectures, you know, while they're in their cars, while they're on their treadmills, while they're walking, while they're doing whatever. Um, so you don't have to follow along with the slides, but in order to get the full benefit of the lecture, um, you ought to be listening to the lecture and seeing the slides um, that, the, that the lecture is being created from. In any event, you can control the lecture from here. In order to take advantage of the slides, all you've got to do is click this arrow here to go back. And um, having already downloaded the lecture, having only downloaded the slides, you go back, uh, you open the slides from here, and the slides will appear. And you just sort of scroll through the slides as um, the lecture is completing. All right, so you go back to the lecture, you, you listen to the slides. When you're done, one of the things that you can do in iTunes U is the application is to check off the things that have been completed. So you always have sort of a, a list of just how much more stuff you need to do. In any event, the thing that you'll be doing the most will be accessing content through posts. But there are a couple of other things. Uh, the note feature allows you to create notes as you're listening to a lecture or as you're accessing other kinds of content. I said this in my tutorial for the iPad. I'm the instructor. I never used this feature, so uh, I don't know much about it. But I do know that it is possible to take notes, keep it recorded within the iTunes U app as you're completing course content. Another way of accessing course content is going to be down here through materials. And basically all this is is um, the list of all the materials that have been uploaded uh, into the course that you have access to. Uh, typically through the posts. It's just that through the materials, it's not organized necessarily in the order in which it needs to be completed. But in this case, it's organized according to the audio files. That is, I've got, in this for this class, 23 had been uploaded at that time. Uh, videos, three, or at least links to videos, uh, documents, PDFs, uh, web links, and you can access these materials by clicking on uh, whatever type of media it is. So in this case, I can uh, Again, download lectures requires that you first download it. You click on the downward arrow, and that's because I had started downloading this particular lecture. So you don't have to go through the post to access the content. But the main chief advantage of iTunes U is that it makes all of these lectures, lecture notes, uh, links to uh, supplemental materials, whatever, available to you such that you're not chained to your computer uh, in order to complete you know, content for the class. All right, so here's my updated um, library with all of our philosophy classes on it. Um, let me tell you again that if you have any, I'm scrolling to the first slide, that if you have any issues or problems with iTunes U or accessing our content, you can contact me uh, in one of a couple different ways at philosophy that is philosophy at uno.edu or through itunes at uno.edu. And I've created one other tutorial so far that's on how to access iTunes U content from an iPad. I'm going to create one more um, tutorial that will show you how to access iTunes U content from iTunes on either a Mac or a PC.